Starbucks. No. Uh, coffee or water. Hey, I'll chill out. Eat no bar. What's up? Their body, so boom. Like that, and a feather shooting out of her eye. Woo! <laughs> Do she think she's your sister? Don't you think so? Hmm. I just uh, invited you to my car as I wanted to tell you um, about uh, something that I want to give to everybody for Christmas. It's called the World Unifier Centerpiece and it's, um, it's a big time healer and uh, I think that if you have some idea in your heart and you Maybe this can change humanity for the better. I think I'll just share a little bit about it. Um, yeah, I got figured I'd uh, share a little bit about it. Doing a tour. Of the Millennium. The World Unifier Centerpiece. Where each of us gets a turn. Each of us has their piece. A place where we can release all of our fears and frustrations. <laughs> totally magically said. <laughs> JJ? Wow, we're on the Pit River, checking out the scenery. What we have here is a beautiful masterpiece. Hey guys. And sometimes there's shallow times. But we'll get past this. <laughs> Here we are. In the middle of the nature. With this beautiful sunny day. Thanks for chat. Thanks to chat. Because he gave us this opportunity of enjoy the nature and it's sunny, beautiful British Columbia. This is so much fun. I'm so happy. And there's a way of no thinking. Later in there. Not problems, but the stuff we have to do on the week. 
our duties. Uh, just relax, that's fine. We deserve it. We work so hard during the week and then on the weekend in summer we are more than allowed to do this, so pretty cool. I hope I can uh, repeat and do it again. Ooh, here it's not very swallow. But I think I can make it, yeah. Nice people, nice crew. We are a nice crew. Ooh. Look at my skills. And this is a good workout. Yeah. They are the boys. I would like to see a bear or something that would make the day awesome. <laughs> Then to the right way. It is right. Works well. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What year is it? Do you know? No, no, no. It's from here. Oh, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Good boy. Has a yeah. It's a lot of his story. <laughs> Over here, it's better. Look at the dog. So happy is him. to run into this boat. Ah! So good. Are you okay, JJ? Well, cool. Is your phone with you? What? I'm gonna turn off the phone. Did you get it? Oh. You're right. Oh shit! Your phone. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, so JJ's happened like that happened to JJ before. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, he can so fix it's it. okay. Yeah, he can fix it. He can fix it. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> You just need through the scene of a Titanic. Yeah. Crash. Sorry. Very dramatic. Oh, One panic. <laughs> <laughs> One bit. Oh, what should I do? I mean, I was a little bit worried for your life when you didn't came out. You know? Yeah. I'm so down. She's laughing. Look at this guy. She's laughing. <laughs> I know. You, you, I know. We're all cracking out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but it's just funny because we were laughing at you. My <laughs> fault. <laughs> to get the water, I have to kind of rock it back and forth a couple of times. Okay. So I take the bottom, put it down, take the top, put it up. <laughs> oh, okay. So rescue the. the yeah. <laughs> 
Woo. As long as you're okay. I mean, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I really hope. Take yeah, here? I hope my phone's okay. Want to take okay. it from here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Get that all on video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's all on film, guys. <laughs> Very dramatic moment on the river. Okay, so we're kayaking down to our campsite. What's up, the one? I'm good. <laughs> I'm the one right now. You're the one, bro. I'm the one right now. Hey! Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> oh yeah. We're going for an overnighter. I'm gonna roll facing backwards, okay. and then I'll record you. Is it on right now? I think it is, right? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, like, yeah, just. A little smidgens is better, but whatever. All good. <laughs> so yeah, I guess um, I figured I'd invite you along because you're the one. And uh, I know that the possibility for world unity is definitely available. We just um, come together in a creative way and uh, share with each other uh, Passion and compassion and uh, stories like just of memories that were really inspiring or just touched your heart deeply. These are meant to be really heart based tours, and so I, uh, I don't know, I decided to live homeless for like nine years to pursue my passion, and this is it. So I'm glad you came. I'm glad you're the one. Thank you. I'm the one for now. <laughs> We have arrived at the camping spot, feeling good and wet. Hang on the grass here for a while, everybody else is kind of chilling out, doing whatever. Do you feel it? Do you feel it in the grass for a while? Okay, cool. eagle and I was like wow like that's so cool like, like the eagle is the highest flyer is the wisdom right of the ages wisdom and um, great sight great insight and uh, spiritual spiritual well-being and so I looked at that and saw the sprawling black and white ball and I thought wow that's cool because that's kind of my mission that's what I want to do so it was basically became the eagle's head on one direction from the coffee shop side. I looked at it and it looked like it was the eagle's head. It was spinning on top of the eagle's back. And um, this was on a cloudy day. So uh, on the eagle's back I didn't realize, but on a, I went back on a sunny day and it was actually half black, half white. 
And I'm like, well, shit, that's what I'm bringing in too, because I know that's that's the energy, that's the, the proper energy, because it's the black which absorbs and the white which reflects. And so if we can absorb knowledge, reflect upon it, which is the white, we become wise. And um, that's basically black and white is the blueprint for sustainability. And it's funny because it says the, blu the blueprint for sustainability and really, <laughs> it's just a crazy thing, but the spectrum between black and white is blue. Like, like blueprint. And, uh, yeah, so I, I guess that means uh, if you can find the place, the balance between masculine and feminine, the black, which is the love of power, and the white, which is the power of love, we can uh, find that balance between those two energies. And uh, we can see into, every single person can see into another person's you. I tried to do it, but I'm interested in it. I like cooking. Definitely cook. I like baking too. January. Take a black from my put up bottom and you put it on top. Cool, nice one. Ivan. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Avocado and sriracha. Oh yeah, avocado and sriracha. Simple as that. And good as Okay, that's really good. Mm -hmm. The avocado cuts mm -hmm. a little bit of the spice of the sriracha. Hold on. Do you wanna try? That's actually, that's really I good. wanted to offer to Shannon, but I think she's, she's like sleeping. deep sleeping. So. No, my art and she fixes. Well, I, I didn't want to force it on you, but I wanted to say that like it kind of like somebody's in the head and then somebody's in, the head too. <laughs> in my head and somebody's in your head too. Yeah, there is the the one in my head. There's some blood That's still really in here. Yeah, oh shit! What? Wine? No. No, it's that the beer. Okay. Well, Shannon bought yesterday. Oh. Okay. Shannon. <laughs> Wake you up. Can I? Oh, we have eggs here. Yeah, you guys want to do some eggs? We can do some. We could do. And at the end of the ceremony, it was crazy. Um, I this I, I all of a sudden saw this blanket on the, on the bench. Um, where all those. Uh, Plaques are in the center of uh, close to Central City. Off to the, if you're looking outside of Central Station, if you're looking um, to the right, and there's like a circle on the grounds. Anyways, that was where I found the blanket. And um, it, when I saw it, it was awesome because it was like basically the rose had opened up. I knew that my heart had been received into the universe. That after this first ceremony where I planted the first wax clothes rose, this one's open and it's blossoming. And people are joining the family. Showing yourself so far?
it's a mystery true in its sincerity unleashed in authority and need from the highest place Last night around the fire, we're all hanging out, looking down on the fire. Uh, candles, because we're kind of on fire here right now. But uh, yeah, there's three flames were left, three candles were left. There was four at first, and then one burnt out. We're like, oh. And I was like, wow, it looks like a Trinity like sign, eh? And I said, I want to know mental, physical, spiritual well being. Like a, a trinity of being. So each boat a bag of popcorn to watch the movie. <laughs> this, is this is good sunscreen. White. White shirt is the best sunscreen. It really is. A, a see-through, like a, not see-through, but long sleeve white shirt, because it all somehow all reflects out. <laughs> Bag the blankets. Bag it, bag it, bag it, kids. Bag of blankets was so helpful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me upper back, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That way, whoever sits in the back here can just paddle in class with that nice uh, backrest there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just um, and when it gets really windy, you just uh, take the kayak paddle off and make it a kayak. It's awesome. But, you know, you can get your butt a little wet and stuff like that, but whatever. It's kick ass for portaging. Like it's really light. I just got taken away knowing that somebody would see this film someday. What? And I've been singing that song for years and years and years. Sorry, I was just telling about um, that song that I was just singing. I just knew that people would be watching this video someday. Uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, I just, when I was singing that song, it like just blew me away because that song I've been singing for so many years, right? Uh -huh. And finally it's coming into being, like, my story. My wow. step by step, stone by stone. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's by um, I think it's uh, Saint Francis of Assisi. Is this is oh, this is the heavy one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 
guys, it's like, wait, we gotta lift it a bit here because it's just getting dragged right through. It's gonna kill the Do bottom. Do you guys want to drag here? Hold just on a here. tiny bit. Like, no, that'll wreck. The, that'll no? pull the seat up. Look at. Oh, you guys got that? Cool. That'll do. <sighs> this is. I like this canoe because it fits like the whole family. Yeah. Like and a moose, and a yeah, and some whiskey. <laughs> We ride into eternity and beyond. Or infinity, I mean. Oh, that's it. Well, eternity is infinity, I guess. <sighs> God. Well, the great I am is very, very deep. It takes some collective body humanity to figure it out. But for now, we can start with something simple like when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Meaning, when the power of love, the collective humanity, overcomes the individual love of power, which, well, the only way that can happen is for the individual to surrender to the collective. And so, so really the only way to overcome the love of power is for the individual to surrender to his collective angel. His own. And his own collective angel is I am. It's the great I am. I am individual and collective. In the past, love of power has corrupted many kings and queens and nations. I just hope that as a planet we can learn to submit our love of power. Faster. The power of love. Faster. Hey dude, your shirt. It's getting sucked under. Your shirt's going dragging in the water. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, man. weirdest thing is that the Elohim in the dream that I saw in the dream they they knighted me yeah it was the craziest freakiest experience of my life wow dogmatic, pragmatic framework of understanding of existence. Yeah. Like that. It kind of goes with the, what I was saying this, uh, this morning. Uh, the opposite of dogma being Amgod. Realizing the Amgod, being a part of it all, or you're part of God, is uh, a good realization. And then, but, um, yeah, I actually bought, I read a book once called Foolish Wisdom. It was like how the jester was so wise in old king courts, king's courts, because they, he would like expose all the lies, but it would be in such a comical form that no one would really know if he was actually telling the truth or not. And so everybody would just laugh because he was so, such a goof and freak. <laughs> That's what I want to be, that gesture, man. Yeah. Just a freak, uh, crazy wisdom. That's what it's called, crazy wisdom. That book, I love that book. So me. <laughs> Really good, uh, beautiful poem. And it says that, like, at the beginning, it says, let me say, that I am the horn, the hoof, the mountain, the river, and all things. But it was when I left those things that the question. And the fear. And I started asking before that 
that nobody ever asked, do you have a purpose? Because I knew my purpose was. And I wept, and I wept. So I returned to the mountains and the rivers. I returned to the, the birds and the animals of the land. And I asked for each one to hand in uh, marriage. Wow. And it's when I was remarried with them, then I realized that I had been in his arms all along. I had been with him the mm. whole time. Something like that. That's my paraphrase version of it. Awesome. But it's a really lovely realization when you know that you're constantly... Nothing can like pluck you out of the, the hand of God. Mm. Treasured. Yeah, it's weird. I thought my interior world wasn't exposed, but somewhere inside this being that we are, there's the interior world that eventually gets exposed. Yeah. The universe is kind of creepy. And if you want to make a, an impact, it's happening. Sound effects allowed. One to create world peace. You. That's it. That's all it takes.
Myself a crazy mask called the World Unifier Center Peace. In other words, the World Unifier Center Peace EXP. That is the individual side. This is the collective side. The World Unifier Center Peace. Peace. 